always remember, folks, whatever you think about, you bring about whatever you focus on grows. Hope everyone's having a great day, safe day. Let's make it a great night, folks. October 27th, man, time's flying. Don't make assumptions. Learn to ask questions. It's always better to ask questions than to make an assumption. Have the courage to ask questions and to as clear as you can be. Once you hear the answer to the question, you won't have to make the assumption because you will know the truth. Market wise, let's take a look at it out here. We have the Dow Industrials right now trading down 119. NASDAQ is up 86. S&P is a flat gold contract up $4.70 trading at 1798 an ounce. We have silver up eight cents, twenty-four dollars seventeen cents an ounce. Light sweet crude, look at that baby, down two bucks of dollar ninety-five, eighty-two dollars seventy cents a barrel. Notes and bonds, monster move out here with the note and bond market, folks. You have the ten-year note up sixteen ticks, one thirty-one oh three, thirty-year up a full two points. <laughs> That's almost unheard of. At one sixty twenty-five, bottom line, there's an appetite out there, folks, in a huge way for notes and bonds. I get it. Trust me that, you know, everyone thinks that rates are going up, but guess what? They're not going up just yet. And King Dollar, King Dollar right now trading down 119 ticks at 93.830. The euro is out here at 116. The yen is at 113.80. And the British pound is at 137 to 1 US dollar. Our phone number is 877-927-6648. Give us a call, folks. Want to know what's going on in your world? In the world of the S&Ps, let's take a look at them. What do you have? Well, we bring up the SPY here at all-time highs. Uh, we had out here yesterday, uh, bottom line, the SPY hit a price point of uh, 458. We're at 455.97. Uh, the number to keep your eye on with the SPY, I don't see it going down into that number today, is 454. That's where you'd have that, you know, you failed the highs that's kind of how this shakes out so you, you're pulling back right now you're pulling back with light volume that's not telling us much because you went to a higher high yesterday and you had some juice behind it now that's the spy ndx 100 is a whole different animal and what you have with the ndx is this so check this out this is pretty cool man if you have the out of time in the trade you know that when you get to a higher high bottom line if some volume comes in you're gonna you can expect that you know bottom line to get a retest well we had volume come in yesterday at 47 million. Not that that's great, but it came in. And what does the market do? The market is going to go up and tag it today, reject it, and now you're going to have a rejection of higher price with lighter volume. It's a true rejection. So this is just a mind blower. There's no doubt about it, folks, okay? And that is with some of these high flyers up in an extraordinary way. And listen, Microsoft come out with great numbers. Bottom line, it's up $14.62. Now just think what would happen with the NDX 100 if Microsoft wasn't up $15, nor Google up, let's see, what's Google up? $168, man. I mean, it's just over the top. There's no doubt about it. What that's saying, okay, that is saying that the inside of the NDX 100, this thing is so weak, it's incredible. In fact, let me bring the whole thing up. Watch this. So that's pretty impressive, man. So look at this. The NDX is at new highs. Look at this. The NDX is new highs. I have every NDX stock up here, folks, and you can see that I only could go down to number 31 to keep it in the green. Everything else is red. What has happened here is that the Google and Amazon, well, Google's the biggest one. Google's putting uh, some monster points into the NDX, uh, as is Amazon, Tesla, and Microsoft. Bottom line, you get the gist of it. The gist of it, hey, guess what, man? We're going lower. This was the test. The test already failed. Uh, it's got, uh, what, another 50 minutes uh, to basically back down. Let's go to our man, Frank in Gloucester. Frank, what's going on, brother? Hey, Tommy, how are you? Big windstorm up here. Oh, I was reading about this, man. You got a northeast of, like, beyond belief, right? Yeah, yeah it's not bad. We, we get out here on Cape Ann, we get these 60-mile-an-hour-plus winds <laughs> uh, four or five times a year, so keeps the trees pruned. Yeah, that's for sure. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, we don't we don't get a lot of power outages because uh, we get a lot of high winds and uh, it takes care of itself. Which is sweet. So. No, there's no doubt about it, man. Um, yep. Pretty cool. So anyway, what an unstable market. Yeah, it is. Like just every trend I look at is not supported by volume. 
and I'm trying to look around for stocks at the bottom of their their um, channels. Yes, and there aren't any really. There aren't any. Yeah, it's crazy. And that adjective so, is the correct adjective. There's there's no doubt. Uh, you know, you heard me when I was just bringing up the NDX 100. It, it's pretty remarkable, folks, okay, that the NDX, um, when you actually look at a Microsoft, look at a Google of how much they're up, that we weren't up like 500 points. And we weren't because I had done this earlier as an exercise myself, okay, when I'm seeing the NDX go up, I says, okay, number one, it's going to go test because it had the, the juice up there. But guess what? That's all it wanted to do. It wanted to say hi, and then it's going to see you later, man, because it's... Yeah. yeah, I mean, yeah. you know, two or three stocks. So here, Southern Copper. Hey. Let's look at this, man. Southern Copper, yes, FCCO. Yeah, so they come out with their numbers, right? And they were, they were a little short on their numbers. But yeah. it's pulling back the right way. That's the real bottom line, you know. Yeah, I guess it is. It looks like it fell out of bed, but the volume's low. It is. It is. And when uh. you get a move, this is always... The, so what happens, folks, is this. And this is always tough, man. Okay, so when you look at markets and you look at, you know, particularly time in the trade, I, you know, you go up on volume when you get that move. And in order to get higher, you either got to go sideways and build, build cars or you're going to back down with light volume. And of course, what happens, folks, is that if we're backing down, you never know, like, well, how far are you going to back down? I mean, are you going to blow my yeah. brains out, right? <laughs> it's like, okay, man. So I get it, Frank, okay, because this drives me crazy, and I've been doing it for so long, and when I have gold positions on, it's like, okay, man, like, how far are you going to back down on me? Do you know what I'm saying? Yeah. I like how this is set up right now. I mean, because the first leg up, we went from 55 up to 66. You know, you had juice of 2.4 million. And, you know, we're back now at 695000 you know, so. Yeah, it's, about a, it's coming into a 50% retracement off the, the recent bottom, the beginning of the month. So, yeah, and, I guess I'll hang on. I love the dividend. I'll well, and we, when we go over and we take a look at copper, I mean, they hit copper today, too. They hit it with 10 pennies. It's 68,000 oh. contracts. And, oh, wow. you know, that's, that's, that's still going into, though, 104,000 contracts, you know? So I'd hang yeah, there for a bit, yeah. Frank. Thank you. Cooking, brother. Stay right there, folks. We'll come right back.